Hello, everyone, and welcome to this afternoon's webinar, or as I always say, it's afternoon here for us in lovely Hampshire. It's absolutely glorious outside, really. It's um, you wouldn't want to be anyone else, but anywhere else, but uh, down on the on the South Downs, except for our webinar. So it's lovely to have you take the time out to come and spend some time with myself and my husband David, who is sitting behind me. But before we start. May I draw your attention to the disclaimer that I know you can see on your screen. As you know, trading can be a very risky business. So please, please don't ever think of using money that you cannot afford to lose. Um, I know we have um, coming along to the webinar, we have some of our Forex uh, students, we have some of our quantum users, but I know we have a lot of new people as well. So very, very quickly, what are we going to do in this session is basically we're going to look at uh, some charts. We're going to have a look at the markets in general, uh, but the charts in particular through the prism of what we call volume price analysis. And this is really looking at the price action and the volume activity uh, uh, with this methodology that we've developed, VPA, as we uh, we call it, it is price action and volume, but it also includes other elements as well, such as support and resistance, candle, candle patterns and time. But to get back to the price action and volume uh, aspect of it, essentially what it does for you, and it's because it's a question I'm asked all the time, well, what will it do for me? You know, why can't I just st stick with price action and indicators that I've been using for, you know, however uh, many years or months that you have, may or may not have been trading? And I say, well, there's absolutely no reason why you can't carry on using uh, just the price action and indicators. But what VPA does, it really sort of at the end of the day, it validates what you are seeing on the chart because the markets are all about participation. We talk about sentiment, sentiment in the sense that is the market uh, positive, negative, is it selling off, is it, or is it in a, in a good mood and people are buying? That is participation, that is volume, that is activity. And what VPA does, it, it, it matches the activity level with the price action. And if the two don't match, then you know that something is not quite right. So, uh, what uh, we've done is, uh, in addition to the main book that explains uh, the methodology from sort of first principles, if you like, there is an, a, 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 a companion book which looks at works examples. And these are for primarily uh, stocks, the indices, and there are some commodities. And there is a Forex version as well. And the great thing about VPA is that the, the type of patterns, the kind of footprints that are left on the chart um, by volume price analysis, it repeats, they repeat and they repeat in all sorts of, uh, in all the time frames and in all the markets. But the best way to see it is actually to see it in action. And to get back to um, the question that I'm asked and saying, is this, you know, how do I use this? Can I, um, you know, what will it do for me? Um, what I say is, as I said, it validates what you're seeing on the chart, but it also helps to support and validate perhaps an approach that you are already using. Um, David and I can confirm that we have um, we've had a lot of Elliott Wave traders who they would use the Elliott Wave principles and concepts, but didn't necessarily use uh, volume. But in incorporating volume into their Elliott Wave analysis, it actually makes uh, it, it makes the Elliott wave even better, as it were. And in fact, there's a lovely little example here on the two minute pound Canadian. It's actually a pair uh, that uh, we're going to be looking at in more detail uh, later when we look at uh, uh, the, the Forex market. And, you know, for those of you who, who use VPA, I hope you can spot immediately um, what I'm about to uh, say in this region of the chart. Um, we have uh, this pair. This is the two minute chart. But as I said, it could be the 10, it could be the 30 minute, it could be the hour. You can see the pound Canadian is in congestion. Why? Because it's basically moving sideways. It's 
at we call what we call the volume point of control. There's a there's a, a, a big resistance. There's being support. It's range bound in this region, and gradually the uh, a price begins to move away. We can see the volume moving higher, and then we have this candle, which is the most important candle, where we have this huge inrush of volume. But then what happens is you have this. Uh, this this pullback, if you like, you say, well, okay, just supposing you didn't, ha you haven't had the volume under here to confirm that move. You're just looking at price action. You then see this re this potential reversal. So quite a decent move up from the congestion area, and you look at those three candles there. If you just look at the price action, what does that tell you? It could, doesn't really tell you very much, but if you look at the volume underneath those candles, so you see the uprush, the inrush of, of, of volume, then you have the correction. If you like, this, this is something like an ABC. There's lots of traders that trade ABC patterns. So you have the A, which is the impulse higher, then you have the B, the correction. How do you know that it is a correction and not a potential reversal? Well, you know. This is telling you this isn't going to go very far because there's no participation. And so the price moves up and it kind of doesn't go up uh, very, very uh, strong, you know, uh, uh, with a lot of momentum, if you like. But it's it's all in proportion. The amount of volume going in under the up candles is in proportion. Then we have a little bit more of, of a sideways move and then we have uh, the uh, the price carrying on higher. And, we, and I want to have a look at the pound. Canadian later because um, there are elements of it where it's it's coming up to quite a key uh, uh, support and resistance level and uh, we really want to see whether it is now going to reverse or is simply going to pause and uh, you know because we're coming to the end of uh, well, not quite the end of the U.S. session but we're coming into a, a, a period of the trading day when certainly in forex things do tend to calm down. So that's what I wanted to say about VPA, why it is, what it can do for you. It can validate, it can uh, uh, confirm whether what you're seeing on the chart is actual, actually genuine or not. And if you're using any other um, indicators or approaches, as I said, such as such as Elliott Wave or ABC patterns or what have you, the volume will help to confirm that pattern for you. So I'm just going to stop there. I'm going to pass over to David. Um, then I'd like to come back over because there's all sorts of things happening in the markets at the moment. And I've got some links that I'd like to share with you, uh, particularly to uh, concerning uh, the, the markets in general and um, what may be, what is likely to be happening in the next sort of week or so.